very good morning to everyone this is dr umaima ghazal and today in this video we will talk about surfactants in cosmetics so if you remember in my previous video we have already talked about the surfactants which are used uh, in various kind of a cosmetics like sls and sles but apart from sls and sles we are having different uh, kind of surfactants which are not exactly by the names of those and those surfactants we will discuss in this video so these are by the name coco amido propyl betaine or which we can say in a short form like capb which is a chemical uh, compound found in many personal care and household cleaning products and capb is a uh, surfactant which means that it interacts with water making the molecules slippery so that they don't stick together when water molecules don't stick together uh, they are more likely to bond with dirt and oil so when you rinse away the cleaning product the dirt rinses away so uh, in that form some of the products where the capb is said to be the major ingredient that makes leather and the capb is a synthetic fatty acid made from coconut so products that are considered natural can contain this chemical and it's still some products with this ingredient may cause unpleasant side effects also so here also you can see on the slide that CAPB is a natural surfactant that can be used in organic formulations as long as it has been manufactured in an acceptable way it contains no synthetics CAPB is always produced via synthetic process although the coco part and the betaine part are natural coco betaine is more natural but it is also more irritating so coco betaine is harder to track down the co than coco amido propyl betaine and both are surfactants both can be used in shampoos body washes and other cleansing formulations which are available and uh, still people are don't have any idea about that they are using surfactants where they are writing that no sls is present in those shampoos or any kind of a cosmetic products or detergent soaps but still surfactants are there which are very much in use for those particular cosmetic ranges so this is the structure of your coco amido propyl betaine which looks like this and this is coco betaine which is looking like that here you can see the cocyl group which is attached here and after that we are going to talk about that what will be the kind of a skin discomforts which you can see see if your skin is sensitive to product that contains capb you may notice tightness redness or itchiness after uh, the use of that particular product this kind of a reaction is known as contact dermatitis and if the dermatitis is severe you may have blisters or sores where the product came into contact with your skin so most of the time an allergic skin reactors like this will heal on its own or when you stop using the uh, irritating product or use an over the uh, counter hydrocortisone cream and if the rash does not get better in a few days or if it is located near your eyes or mouth please see a doctor so coco amido propyl butane is a mixture of a closely related organic compounds derived from coconut oil and dimethyl amino propyl amine CAPB is always available as a viscous pale yellow solution and it is used as a surfactant in personal care products the name reflects that the major part of the molecule the lauric acid group is derived from coconut oil so the, in that sense people are saying that this is a kind of a surfactant which is a natural one and coco amido propyl betaine to a significant degree has replaced by coco amide dea specifications and properties like coco amido propyl betaine or capb is used as a foam boosters in shampoos it is a medium strength surfactant and also used in bath products like hand soaps it is also used in cosmetics as an emulsifying agent and the th and thickener and to reduce irritation purely ionic surfactants would cause it also serve as an anti static agent in hair conditioners which most often does not irritate skin or mucous membranes however some studies indicate it as an allergen also so we cannot say that this capp is not a allergic one in in some studies in research you will find uh, the results where they are indicating that it is said to be an allergen uh, compound or a material which they are using in various kind of a cosmetic products 
so yeah, means like capb can be found in facial body and hair products like where you can find your capb you can find your capb in shampoos in conditioners in makeup removers in liquid soaps in body washes in shaving cream in contact lens solutions and in some toothpaste also so capb is also a common ingredient in household spray cleaners and cleaning or disinfecting wipes so you can imagine that how much irritating and how much harsh it is the same material which we are using on our skin on our uh, means on our teeth everywhere so the same uh, ingredient is used for the household spray cleaners and cleaning or disinfecting wipes also so the question came like how to know if a product has coco amido propyl betaine capb will be listed on the ingredient ingredient level the environmental working groups list alternative names for capb which includes like one propyl aluminum and hydroxide inner salts by the names of these two also you can think and you can understand that this is also a kind of a surfactants which are involved in your uh, hair care products or in different kind of a various cosmetic products which you are using in cleaning products you can see your C capb listed as by a name cadg which means like coco amido propyl dimethyl glycine which they are using for the cleaning purposes of floor or disinfecting wipes like Like that and di sodium coco uh, 40 uh, propionate, which is also by the name you can see in your uh, cleaning products. So by the names of this, you can see uh, the uh, CAPB products which are already available, and we are not aware of this whole uh, by the names because some of the general names and the common names which are available, but not in deep we don't know like how many kind of a surfactants alternative names are present and by which we are uh, directly or indirectly we are using surfactants only. so the national institute of health maintains a household product database where you can check to see if a product you use may contain capb or not so safety means like a capb has been claimed to cause allergic reactions in some users but a controlled pilot study has found that these cases may represent irritant reactions rather than true allergic reactions Furthermore results of human studies have shown that CAPB has a low sensitizing potential if impurities with amido amine which is said to be AA and dimethyl amino propyl amine uh, DMAPA are low and tightly controlled other studies also concluded that most apparent allergic reaction to CAPB are more likely due to amido amine presentations So CAPB was voted in 2004 that allergen of the year by the American Contact Dermatitis Society also so whenever you are going uh, to buy some uh, cosmetic products from market just see what are the kind of uh, surfactants uh, are involved in that whether you are using for a body wash toothpaste cleaning purposes shampoos conditioners those which are not directly by the name of capb sls or sles but by the different alternative names also they are present in your products so do check whenever you are going to buy all these products so that you are uh, be means uh, aware about the harms and the allergic uh, things which are going to takes place so if you like my video so please do uh, like share and subscribe my channel bye for now